Hey everybody, it's Angie and welcome to Hot and Flashy. Today I'm bringing you part two of my upper body workout routine. So since I recorded this uh, the first time, I noticed that it went way along. I was planning it on being 20 minutes tops. Of course, I went on for 45 minutes, kept working out. I had a great workout. It was fantastic. I loved it. And it was all upper body, so I am pumped now. Um, but I decided it was too much to ask people to watch, so I've decided to divide it into two separate videos. So the first one I've already posted, and this is the second installment in the Upper Body Strength for Mature Women. So if you would like to work out along with me, please feel free to do so. But my disclaimer is that you do so at your own risk of peril. Uh, I am not giving any kind of medical or workout advice in this. I'm merely showing you what I do based on the DVDs that I watch. Uh, if you are a workout professional and you see me breathing wrong or doing something wrong with my form, don't be too hard on me. Uh, like I said, I'm not a pro. I'm not telling people exactly how to do it. I'm just telling you and everyone out there how I do it. So this is how I do it. You can take it for what it's worth, okay? <laughs> so let's get started with part two. So I like to really stretch out my shoulder muscles. I'm just gonna clasp my hands behind my back, pull my shoulder blades together, and then lift up. And that's giving me a nice stretch all across my chest. And I'm just gonna hold that there while breathing and release. I'm gonna clasp my hands in front, I'm gonna round out my back, and I'm gonna push away. I'm really gonna push into this. I'm gonna take that up over my head with a big breath in, fill my lungs with air, reach to the ceiling, spread my hands, and then come down to my sides. All right, so for the first set of exercises, we're gonna to go to the floor, because I like to get my push-ups done over in the beginning. I love it when they do them in the beginning, but all my DVDs, but one thing they have in common is lots and lots of push-ups. And if you think that, you know, getting your upper body to have nice muscle definition is gonna be an easy workout, I have bad news for you. There's no workout that's easy. Working out is work. I'm gonna get ready to do some work, and hit the floor. All right, I hope this camera angle is gonna work. I don't have a ton of room to work with here, so I'm just trying to make it work for you guys. I'm gonna start with a set of planks, and that's another nice warm-up exercise that'll get the whole body nice and warm. So I'm just gonna use my, what are these called? Yeah, these are called push-up pros. So I'm just gonna use my push-up pros just so I don't have to hyper extend my wrists while I'm doing these. So I just put them about shoulder width apart, and then I'm just gonna do a full plank up on my toes, all right, arms are straight but not locked. Butt is a little bit up in the air. There should be a straight line from shoulders to hips and then another straight line down to ankles. I'm just gonna hold this plank for about the count of 30 just to get uh, everything warmed up. My belly button is sucking up and in towards my spine. And I'm just trying to count my head. <laughs> Hopefully, I think I'm probably at about 20, so I'm going to give another 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. And now staying with the plank, I'm just going to step in with one foot. I'm going to curl my tailbone under. I'm just going to step up to the right hand with the right foot. And then I'm going to go back and step up to the left hand with the left foot. And I'm put that one back. Now, in between these, I'm going to do a full push up. So, one push up and then step in, right, step in, left. Then one push up, step in, right, step in, left. One push up, that's three, step in, right, step in, left. Another push up, that's four, step in, right, step in, left. Five, Breathing throughout. Six. Seven. Eight. Ooh, that's getting hard. Now I'm gonna finish off with just a set of push-ups. I'm gonna do as many as I can on my toes and then go to my knees. So, one, two, Three, four, 
four, five, I think I'll make it till six. Six, gonna go down to the knees. Whew, getting sweaty. Seven, eight, nine, and ten. Those are ten little push ups. Not easy, not easy that work. All right, and I have one video where I do 70. I do most of them on my knees, and I'm working up to doing two sets of 12 on my toes. That's my goal, but I'm not there yet. And I've been working out forever, so anyway, that's all right. So let's move on. All right, that was hard work for the upper body because I was using my whole body weight as weight. So now I'm gonna lighten up and go to some lighter weights. This exercise is called a windmill. I'm gonna take two five pound weights. This can be done with three pound weights or no weights at all. It's a two count up over the head. So here we go. One, two, and one. And two. And three. And four. And I'm keeping my shoulders pressed down so they're not hunching up to my ears like this, nice and relaxed. And I'm keeping my elbows uh, unlocked. Kind of slightly bent. I think that's seven. <laughs> I need an assistant to count along. Eight. And now on this one, we're going to change it up. And when we're at the top, we're going to rotate the palms in and pull down and press up to a shoulder press. Rotate the palms back out and then come down. So now we've added another move. So it's two up, in, palms in towards your face, and up, palms facing away. Down. Two up, palms in, palms up, two down. Up, two, down, and down, two. Two, how many is that? Maybe four. So we'll go for sets of eight. Five. Six. Seven and eight. All right, my shoulders are really feeling that. I'm just going to lighten up the weight so we can do some front arm raises. So I'm going to go to three pounds, same form as before. Arms straight down in front of the hips, palms facing you, and I'm just, just going to lift my arms up straight in front of me to a two count, and then down for two. It was one, two. Three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then adding on, we're going to go out to the side. One, two, three, four, five, six, show you this from the back, seven, eight. So you see how my shoulder blades are also squeezing together at the same time? So this all isn't in the front. We need to work the back and the front equally. So I'm just gonna do a quick set of overhead presses. I have my 10 pound weights here. And I'm gonna do these like with a goal post arm, legs together, and I'm gonna do an opposite toe tap just to give my lower body something to do so I'm not quite so bored. So arms up and one. Two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I'm going to stabilize my legs, turn my palms in, and do press together for another ten. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, tired, eight, nine, ten. So, all right, so we're gonna hit the floor next for abs with more upper body work. I'm gonna use a 10 pound weight. This is for pec flies and bench presses on the floor while doing a set of abs. So, I'm just gonna lay back first. Okay, the thing to remember when you're doing abdominal work is to keep your stomach sucked in and try to keep your belly button pulled 
towards your spine. Uh, I want to keep my spine in neutral so I have a little space between me and the mat, but still sucking down in here. And when I'm doing my exercises, I'm trying to connect my rib cage to my hip bone. So when I'm pulling up, I'm not straining on my, on my neck or my shoulders. I'm concentrating on moving this towards this. So instead of being like this is coming up so much, it's more like this is sliding down towards there, okay? While keeping this all nice and flat, my heels are on the floor, my toes are pointed up, so I'm not adding too much um, help with my legs. I'm gonna take these, these are for pec flies, which I'll demonstrate one first. It's just the arms open out to the side like so, and then come back together. So I'm gonna start, I'm gonna do five pec flies just as pec flies. So one, two, Three, four, five. Now I'm going to raise my legs up. When I raise my legs, I'm not bringing my knees all the way into my chest. I'm keeping my knees straight above my hips, so I'm making like a perpendicular upside down L with my knees to my shoes. And while those are up there, I'm going to continue to do my pec flies, but I'm going to switch to bicycling legs. So, one two, and stomach again, pulling to the floor, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, now I'm going to add in an abdominal raise, ready, one, two, three, four, five, Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Okay. Now the next set is very similar to that. It's with a bench press. Well, my hands are falling asleep from being up in the air for so long. So, taking the same, I'm going to use ten pounders. Obviously, these can be done with lighter. My legs are in the starting position again. And I'm just gonna lower the weights down and up. So bench press. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, the knees now come up. So one, two, three. Four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Now I'm going to do the lower abdominals, reaching my toes to the ceiling, my heels to the ceiling while pushing up with the pec fly. Am I ready? I think I am. One, two, three, four, five. Keeping the back down, six, pushing just the hips, seven, eight, toes to the ceiling, heels to the ceiling, nine, ten. So in this one, I've got the one 10 pound weight for a ribcage pullover. I'm holding it in both hands like this, nice and stable. Of course, lower weight or no weight could be used. Again, toes to the ceiling, heels on the floor, back in neutral, abs pressed to the floor. Weight comes up overhead, keeping the arms straight but elbows soft. I lower the weight way up over my head, and that works. Oh my gosh, my triceps and my rib cage. So one, two, three, and I really feel the stretch. Four through the rib cage. Five, six, seven. Eight, nine, and ten. And this time I'm going to add in the lower body crunch. So bring those up to the L position again, crunching in the lowers. One, keeping the stomach still, abdominals pressing down to the floor. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Nine, ten, and now 
I'll bring it all together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Why am I laughing? Nine. Because I love it. It feels so good. Ten. So the first stretch I like to do is the full body stretch. Fingers and toes to opposite ends of the room. I pull as long as I can, like I'm really reaching. I'm not just laying here, activating the stretch. All right, and now using that leg to help me up. A couple more stretches and I'll be done for the day. Time to hit the showers. I think I'm just gonna stay on the floor to do my stretches. Uh, I didn't do a lot of leg work today, so I don't need to stretch the legs too much, but I will start off with a little inner thigh stretch. Soles of the feet together, pressing down with my elbows. I do not have a great amount of flexibility, so <laughs> this is about as far as I go into any stretch. I'm just gonna hold onto my toesies and fold forward as far as is comfortable for me. Press down with my elbows on my knees just to get a little extra flexion there. And then come up. I'm just gonna put my legs in a nice relaxed crisscross applesauce position so that I can stretch my upper body starting back to back, then cross them over each other, then go palm to palm like that. I'm just gonna push that forward, tuck my chin down in between so my forehead is in between my arms and just round my back and push forward with this. And then just bring that straight up in the air Pushing up as high as I can, feeling the stretch through the outsides of my shoulders. Release that stretch. Oh boy, does that feel good. A couple of shoulder rolls. One, two, three. I'm gonna clasp my hands behind me, pull my shoulder blades together, and I'm gonna lift up with my hands, pressing the shoulder blades together, chin down. Deep breath again. Shoulders away from the ears, release. Now that I'm finished with my workout and my stretches, I feel calm and centered. I feel relaxed yet energized and ready for my day. I know I'm gonna sleep better tonight because I worked out this morning and that is really important to me. So I hope you enjoyed the video. As always, everybody, thank you so much for watching. Thanks for your time and I will see you next time. Take care, bye-bye.